people who live in the areas of Bay Meadows Circles East and West can pause and take a breath. There's no crisis, no emergency. Everyone can feel safe. HOAs are keeping up, even improving the conditions in the area. It's okay to dial down the hysteria. That's Bay Meadows Road at the bottom of this map. North is at the top. In 2004, there were seven homeowners associations. It was a model of community cooperation. New communities have been added, more are coming, and commercial interests were solicited, 100 of them. In other words, 2022 is nothing like 2018. Bay Meadows Circle West runs through here. Bay Meadows Circle East joins in like this. This is the location of the time-lapse traffic camera. These are the road segments that have been maintained. In late 2021, these roads were improved. New roads were added for the newly built HOAs. This is the segment that is asking for help. This is the site of the 2008 photos showing past flooding. In 2021, significant stormwater infrastructure was done. The ponds and stormwater situation are under control in these areas. This is the segment that is asking for help. Most of the Bay Meadows Community Council comes from this area. The Board of Supervisors is slated to seat people from this area. Here are two communities, one with 300 to 400 apartments. They don't seem to be included in the proposed BCID. Yet the clearest rule of the BCID is, if you use Bay Meadows Circle East or West and you are part of the stormwater system, you are included. More inconsistencies. Why is a lobbyist needed if the community has been engaged, informed, and is supportive? Apartments are only paying about 4% of the whole tax bill, while homeowners pay about 88%. One day, it is said that the proposed BCID enjoys broad support throughout the HOA. Next day, that is an unknown. It is one thing to paint an abstract picture of a plan to make a plan. Nonstop ideas, endless variations, hard to follow, and that is not enough to launch a tax plan into forever. Consumed in its own enthusiasm, blurred by emotion, blind to reality. If you can't describe it consistently, you can't build it. How big a minefield is being created for the people who would have to come along behind and clean it up? A tangled tell is not a roadmap to the future. You darn well don't want an abstract painter operating the shovel. So, who is going to actually do this work? Who is going to run this mini municipality? We don't need a room full of people saying, well, the idea as I understand it. No, wait, maybe I don't understand it. Just sign this blank contract and off we go into perpetuity. The BCID track record with two going on three hand-picked teams is far from exemplary. How can anyone expect a collection of inexperienced people from 12 disparate HOAs to get anywhere? Plus commercial interests, plus apartments. The BCID is hiding behind the hand-picked remnants of the Bay Meadows Community Council. Communication and community engagement with all HOAs? Nope, nothing until only a postcard and only after an opposition statement was nailed to city council's door. No email, no Zoom, no minutes, no financials, no respect, no common courtesy to point out info on an obscure corner of a website, no meetings in the last half of 2021, no involvement with the community in identifying candidates for supervisor positions, no heads up that the legislation was coming, no alert that the bill was being submitted around Thanksgiving, no community engagement. The majority of the community seems to have been deliberately excluded from the process. There is no precedent in Jacksonville for this level of challenge. If the proposed BCID seems too hard to understand, too difficult to follow, if you're being told that it is too complicated to explain, too complex to grasp, then pity the people who would have to try to make this thing work. If something seems wrong about being told that unpacking the methodology for allocating millions in taxes would blow up the conversation, that it is not up for discussion. That was said by the BCID in a public city council session. If that sounds wrong, then listen even more carefully. That's a danger signal. Press stop.
If some of the statements being made by the BCID leave you absolutely questioning, doubting, baffled, worn down, and you're getting close to surrender, then with all the power in your soul, resist the urge to say, I guess that I'll just have to go along with you on this bill because you believe in you. How do you like being told by the BCID in committee that it is city council's job to impose unneeded taxes on unwilling people? As though people cannot see their own neighborhood. As though people cannot think for themselves. As though we are waving goodbye to democracy. Help the people who need help. Say yes to private communities being responsible for themselves. Say no to the BCID.